Professor Henry Mutembe, the Vice Chancellor of Chuka University. This year 2024 of the Lord, I'm very happy that the cohort four of the summer school will be hosted at Chuka University. I would like to inform you that the summer school is a concept that actually the executive director Pagja and myself and hi we sat one day and uh, thought of how we can be able to be bringing the youthful champions from communities to actually raise voices on climate justice and also to be able to engage in a dialogue of uh, the discourse on the same climate uh, justice when we sat in 2018 and came up with that concept. Our idea is to bring as many uh, institutions as possible together with the higher institutions of learning, the activist institutions and the voices from the communities together so that we can be able to train them to be able to partake of these discussions of the discourse from a learned point of view. And immediately we were trying to plan the first cohort, COVID struck. And therefore that was one of the time, one of the year that we didn't take it. Otherwise today we will be at the cohort five. However, we thank God that technology allowed us to have the first one virtually, which was uh, uh, taken up by Kenyatta University that time. And we have learned three cohorts at Kenyatta University. This year, we looked at it and we said, this is like Olympics. It should be rotational. This time it goes to the, a university that is a deep interior. And that is how Chuka University was selected. And of course, since I was one of the people who conceived the idea, and now that I'm the Vice Chancellor, it was also prudent that uh, we become the first one to host during the rotations. And um, the essence of the court four is to trigger the youthful voice and to trigger these voices that can influence sustainable management of our climate in various communities. This cohort has attracted applicants from 87 countries. This is a thing we need to really say, thank you, we are growing. And they will be here from 24th of June, 2024. They will start off with a very high level symposium that is as attracted dignitaries from the government. And this is a time for setting the pace and then the participant sh shall be left to be trained on various areas that touch on the basic scientific principles on climate justice and science and they will also be exposed on the areas on how to engage on academic dialogue on climate justice then they will also be trained on how to actively create awareness. I don't want to call it activism, but I want to say to create awareness and sensitize the public on how to be discussing the climate justice and its discourse within the world. And then they will also be taken through the uh, issues, current issues that are affecting climate change, including energy and including climate smart agriculture. Then they will even be taken to the field, they will do practicals. And what I am very happy about is what the resource people. If you look at the resource people that will take through this, this uh, participant, you will see they are the practitioners in that area, world-renowned practitioners. Hi, as a professor, I've looked at that list and I'm very happy. And I'm very sure by the time this uh, participants leave Chuka, they will see it was worth it and they will see they will be equipped with very very good uh, knowledge that they can be able to influence 
their communities and their practices on climate change and justice. And the niche of the Chuka University is environmental sustainability. It really agas very well with the, with the climate justice. And Chuka University is located in a very saline area, which is very close to the Mount Kenya, and most of the participants will just be seeing the Mount Kenya very well in the morning. And it is 186 kilometers from Nairobi through the Nairobi uh, Mail Highway. So it is very easy to assess. And again, the Chuka community is very welcoming. Where the participants will be staying, I'm sure by the time they live here, they will be very happy of the community. The community is also very expectant. They know the participants are coming. They have uh, celebrated them before they come. And I am sure by the time you leave, you will be very happy. When you are here, take your time and uh, do a tour of the university. One, you will find that the university looks very green. We have maintained that one very well. We have uh, very young structures that are very attractive. And also we have various uh, sports facilities within. You can play your darts, you can play your tennis, you can play your football. So everybody, these facilities will be at your disposal. We are even planning to have one evening of the class so that you can also be able to have a cultural day that people can come wearing their own uh, cultural clothes. They can also sit and understand what kind of cultures that Kenya has and also interact with also probably our culture here, Chuka and the Dalaka culture. Again, I would like to assure everyone the experience you will get, it will be towards the prophecy of Chuka. Chuka was started through a prophecy. It is said it is the only prophetic university in the world. It, is, it was foretold in 1951 and the foreseer said, Behold, there shall be a mountain where the Chuka University is, academic mountain where birds from every world shall patch, gain knowledge, and live happily. So this code 4 is contributing to that prophecy, and we say, welcome to Chuka.